What's up everybody? We're here at Barracks, one of our film locations. And yeah, we just want to take a moment and walk you through some of the recent sets we've built. We've had Barracks for about two years now. And over that time, as crews come in, we've kind of caught wind of, oh man, it'd be so cool if you had this set. It'd be so cool if you had this. So we took a lot of that, you know, into the drawing board and actually brought on like contractors, art department, sync department, and like built sets kind of from a lot of the feedback we've been getting. So I just want to take a moment and show you guys some of those sets. This one turned out pretty cool. This is a TV wall. And I can't tell you how many times I've seen this on Pinterest or seen this in just versions of this. And we kind of tried to make it our own. It's basically an eight feet by eight feet TV wall. And they all plug in. It's purely modular. So it's got these like rubberized caster wheels that can move around this bumpy floor. You know, you can have your artist or photo shoot in front of this. And it's just a really cool set piece that is wheeled. So you can literally put it and have it be like a mobile backdrop anywhere in our warehouse. And I think with a lot of the sets you'll see kind of the updates, like the whole theme of like barracks is it is like a grungy warehouse. So everything is very like kind of grungy feeling. We don't have like any like pretty girly sets here, like fabrics and textures like that. Like everything you see is like a jail, you know, broken down TVs, a speaker wall, a money room, a, tra a trap room, a graffiti alleyway, like everything that kind of caters back to like more so like grunge, warehouse, hip hop, rap. So like, that's just like, as we're building the sets, that's where we're thinking like, oh, what would these types of people like to shoot with, you know, when it comes to set wise. So TV wall, and then might as well just go right over the speaker wall. Actually built for our lodge location. Um, you may or may not cut to B-roll the lodge. The lodge is more of like a wooden warehouse that we've turned into like a neon church set. And on the initial drawing board, we're like, oh yeah, speaker wall, like, cause they had already made this TV wall for us. So we were like, it got the gears turning, like, oh, let's make another wall, but instead of TV, speakers. And funny enough, you know, sometimes you strike out, we built it and literally no one used it at that location. So instead of letting it go to waste, we kind of were like, you know what, this location, it fits the vibe of the brick, the rust, the grunge that Jake was talking about. So we basically just loaded up in a U-Haul and we're gonna kind of build this corner out. Right now it's kind of a storage corner, yeah. but we're gonna build it out to be like a set where you could have mics and cables and a microphone and it's gonna be like a whole speaker corner. Yeah, you know? so the wall will live like flush against that wall. Then we'll have speakers, you know, freestanding coming off of that wall with like cables and wires coming everywhere. So it'll be like a whole kind of like speaker room wall set uh, over there in that corner. It won't just be the wall like tucked up over there. And so, yeah, just kind of repoing it from our other location to here. It'll fit perfectly in there, fits the vibe and tonality of like this space. And so that will be our speaker room set, if you will. And if you have kind of followed us on the barracks Instagram or, you know, just follow us in general, there was a moment in time where we bought an RV, shipped it up from San Diego. And once again, you know, sometimes you swing and a miss, we brought it here and just, it wasn't being used the way we wanted to. So we transported that out to our desert location and that freed up this whole corner to try to maximize more real estate. And one of the sets that we always kind of wanted to build and, you know, was this like jail set. So right over here, we have three cells. And before diving into the jail, this, I just wanted to touch on this. Funny enough, like I think these are dope, but like this is, you can tell like a true artist made this. This is called scenicing. And I think this really brings a set to life. And you can paint a wall white, you can paint a wall red, but when it has bump and texture and rust, like that's a sign of a true art department. So shout out to our team on that. Like literally it feels like this has been here for 30 years. And they really made this two weeks ago, so. Yeah, so this is a brand new set, just kind of, kind of tying back into the, the grunge texture, metal, brick, wood, and just going with that, you know, kind of industrial, like, jail set uh, vibe. And so all of this is functional. It's still not fully done yet. We still, there's like some lighting banks that need to be installed on the inside, as well as some more like texture um, and whatnot and scenicing, if you will. And uh, then this will be completely done in full, but we built it intentionally. When they drew the drawings for us, we told them this is what we want. We want a jail set, kind of gave a rough design. Um, they drew it with this flipped, where I don't know if you can tell, but these bars um, up against that wall were up against the shipping container and it was flipped around. And just like the DP, like director brain inside me was like, no, this needs to be flipped it'll naturally create a hallway with the shipping container we already have, and then we can light from the outside. 
but if the bar windows were up against the shipping container, you wouldn't be able to light that set. So just little details like that free up, you know, any sort of shot. And so, yeah, this is our jail set. Still working on it, but it's, so it's yeah, three cells. really cool. I mean, it's a little dark. I'm sure we'll cut to B-roll when we actually are using these, but each of these has a cot, toilet, a sink, and like a mirror that's been scratched out. And yeah, I mean, obviously we'll cut to footage as we shoot later today, because this is one of our setups, but yeah, it's super cool. You could have your artist or featured artist kind of back to back. You can move the cot so they can kind of, yeah, there's a lot of creative possibilities that we're excited and to with, see. And with no roof, you can light from overhead as well as like get the camera and crane up and like come down into it. Uh, at and this container, you can easily same. put a light, spotlight. I mean, there's a lot of modular abilities to the set. Um, so, yeah, and then right here, I mean, this isn't really a new addition, but... Like, it's like One of the sets that actually, so in the timeline of the barracks, we actually were at a different location and just had to upgrade because we were just kind of outgrew that spot. And one of the popular sets at that spot was called the Astera Tunnel, which is a shipping container. We kind of modded our stairs to be magnetic so you can put them on the ceiling, on the walls. So this is kind of got grandfathered in. I can't tell you how many times this gets used. You can put your artist in here, you can shoot this way, or you heck, you can pull the TV wall and then shoot into it. So there's a lot of kind of like different creative opportunities for just a simple container that with a few of our lights and props can right. be transformed. Um, this one's cool. We basically turn this the space in between yeah. the containers into an alley. So naturally, like when we put the two containers in here, the idea was like, hey, let's not butt them up right against each other. Let's give them a little space and then it'll create a, another set from the two shipping containers that'll be like an alleyway. We'll have a graffiti artist come in, tag it all up, and then we can kind of create an alleyway scene and set just by separating the containers a little bit. Because if we were to butt them up next to each other, you lose a whole set. So simply by just like spreading them out a little bit, all of a sudden we create a full another set. Um, and so this is our alleyway, like back alley set, graffiti, graffiti walls. Um, dope artist came through and tagged it all up for us. Buff nerds right there. Yeah, I mean, we probably had like YG and his whole, you know, squad. I mean, it was cool. It's like really neat to see this space already being used by artists that, you know, we fuck with. And yeah, I mean, they shot this and he was up in here on the roof. So this was a really cool set. And naturally, too, by having a set like this, um, from like a design standpoint, you have these like leading lines. So if you're back here, you have the two containers kind of like force your eye. There's kind of some nice symmetry about just something simple about just an open space like this. So. Um, and this one, moving on, is probably the last one we'll show you today because uh, everything else I think has been kind of shown, the money room and stuff. So this is an ice box. So funny enough, when like all that stuff was going down in Houston where like everything was like freezing over and people's houses were like, uh, just like they were going through all that like cold shit, right? I was on Facebook and I saw a picture of a ceiling fan in someone's house that was frozen over and it had icicles dripping from it. And I remember texting the group thread like, bro, what if we, cause this was plain. We didn't, we had, nothing was done to this. And we're like, I was like, what if we made it like an ice box? And so we just like turned it in, the art team killed it. Tom, you wanted to, so yeah, ice box set, uh, but tell them about like the functionality that we had them build. build yeah, so we have here. like a fogger as like an add on here. And we had that mod the container with a, a basically a PVC pipe runner that goes all the way around. So if you shove the fogger into this, which we have kind of like a little jig for it, the fog will emit through that and then actually come up through the floors. So there's PVC pipe that literally goes around the whole perimeter and they kind of just graked it, which is art department term for just covering it. But these are, there's little holes punctured. So the steam will kind of come from the floor. So as you're wrapping and performing, you kind of have like an icy floor, which is cool. And then you guys have seen all the other sets. Uh, if you've you know kind of followed along, we've made videos before, tour, tour videos building this thing out initially. So that's kind of a lot of the new stuff, the new updates. And uh, we'll probably show some behind the scenes on this video of shooting some of these sets today. Yeah, I'm sure the link will be listed. But yeah, this is yeah. in downtown Los Angeles. So if you're a filmmaker in the LA area or just want to come by and shoot some of these sets, uh, you know, our link's on Pure Space. And yeah, I think, uh, it's just cool kind of seeing crews come in here, seeing what they can do. There's a lot of toys for any people shooting rap videos, rock videos. We've had the whole gamut of type of shoots. So yeah, um, yeah come check it out.